Six yeah. months is not enough to study one subject in live lectures and practice. It's not enough. You need to do. In August 2023, Aditya quits his low-paying job at Bajaj and Crack Gate 2024 got M.Tech admission at IIT Bombay. But what surprises me was Aditya had done his B.Tech in Electrical but cracked an entirely new subject Computer Science and got All India Rank 379 in six months. Everything was new to me. I didn't know anything about it. How did he did that? In this video, Aditya had explained a simple roadmap on how any stream gate aspirant can crack gate in just six months. Plus, his strategy on scoring maximum marks in aptitude and max with resources. Along with Did Aditya share his gate journey on why he chose his gate computer science over LA? So that by the end of the video, you will be equipped with all the information to crack gate exam in just six months. Aditya, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm just like it's a like a dream world. Everyone is like here a topper. Everyone has a different mindset. The M Techs are like exceptional. The professors are exceptional. Like yeah. everything is just like a dream here. So first is like uh, Aditya, like you are cracked in gate. Computer science, but you are from electrical. Can I know why did you choose switch between electrical to computer science? I actually did my B.Tech in electrical engineering, but I was never really into electrical engineering. And uh, as you know, in 2020 lockdown happened. We had ample of time. I started building things. I like development. I did Android development, web development, and all. I just started liking it. Then I actually did a job in software engineering. I was a software engineer at Bajaj Pinsir for about one and a half years. Now, why you decided to quit job and try it for masters in first place? Academically, my all statistics were very good, right from my tenth and twelfth, and then even in engineering as well. Okay. So I thought that yeah, I should try it. This is the last stage I can pursue uh, any degree. So two years, three years, I can do a masters, and then I can settle down. So I thought yes, why not? Boom! You are like electrical, and you just have to prepare some other subject for in a six short span of six months. How exactly you have done it? That's what you want to know. I didn't know anything about the gate exam, so I okay. started researching. I got to know there are subjects like aptitude, engineering, maths, and there are a lot of subjects like ten to twelve subjects. And then okay. I saw some videos on YouTube, like what is the syllabus, or marks of each subject, the weightage, and when is the exam, and how to okay. study, the which are the core subjects. Are the easiest subjects. I, I researched about everything. That is something actually not everyone will do. They won't research like which is the easiest. Which yeah, yeah. Is, which yeah. subject will give you this much mark? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you now had an idea like what is the subject? Everything. Now, now what you done? Now, if someone asks, can I able to qualify gate with just one month of preparation? Optimistically, I would say. Yes, because if one scores full marks in aptitude and max, then he can actually qualify. And even with that qualified score, one can get admission in IIT. If not in summer, then he can in winter. So, Aditya, how you have scored maximum marks in aptitude and max? You just solved the pre previous questions of your branch. For me, okay. it was gate CS, and then I also solved some other gate paper uh, PYQs as well. So you are done with aptitude. And if you are someone who is looking for quality resources for mastering aptitude and max, then I would recommend checking out Oswal Books Gate 15 Year Chapter Wise and Topic Wise All Papers Booklet on Engineering Max and Aptitude, where they have not just discussed the previous year questions and answer. But also, these book comprehensively explain all the concepts in both max and aptitude. Additionally, for better understanding, they have included the mind max and mnemonics to aid better retention. And they have the separate books for max and aptitude. I have attached the link in the description below. Do check it out. Now, coming back to his strategy after step one, which is the initial research. Okay, so I researched everything, and then I also researched like from where to start because there are a lot of subjects. Some are advanced subjects, some are basic subjects. Then I got a video because, and on that video there was a sub. Subject order given, so starting okay. from the basics to advanced subjects, and when to do which subject, and when to finish this level. So okay. I followed the exact same order. So what is the order we should follow? Start from basic subjects and then go on to advanced subjects. So what do you mean by basic subject here? Is it the easiest? Talking about computer science, so the basic subjects are C programming, data structures, and mm. uh, there is digital logic, mm. and uh, there is engineering maths. So these yeah. are the basic subjects to start with. These are the base. Once you are good in C programming, then you can study data structures. Once you're cool. familiar with data structures, then you can go with algorithms. Mm-hmm. Similarly, digital logic. Once yeah. you're clear with the hardware level, basic level, then you can go upon uh, architecture and operating systems and other subjects. Then once you cover the base, then after that, how you decided what subject to study? Yeah, so these are subjects like you can do in parallel. You can do maths and you can do digital logic in parallel because there is no overlap between them. So mm-hmm. I started doing one subjects uh, in the morning and one subject at night. So mm-hmm. likewise, I covered all the subjects. 
and in this process like how many hours you usually per day once you are into gate preparation it's a full day and when yes. does this preparation end like the covering all the syllabus so mid december you can say mid december i just finished the all the topics one so during this process like uh, did you take any full length notes or any short length notes there was no time for full length notes i just made short notes oh, that yeah. it was i used the lecture slides as my full length notes and then well, just just took down some short notes some important formulas some important questions how to solve them are there any tips and tricks i just mm-hmm. took them i just wrote them see now usually by the end of the 4.5 months people who uh, you have covered the syllabus normally for normal people like uh, mm-hmm. by the time they completed the syllabus at least at least the first half of the subject they will forget right how did you remember your concepts yeah so yeah so in my free time i just revise some of the lectures some of the topics okay i am not remembering this so i just watch the videos again i just go through the notebooks yeah you just go through the notebooks you'll just remember uh, also like uh, did you have given your topic wise these kind of tests in your uh, no, during no. your no no i uh, no no i never gave the topic wise or subject wise test now see uh, you have finished your preparation okay in the last 45 days usually like uh, people used to do revision and they would used to give lot of yeah. tests so how did you panic yes, manage yes. it okay so that was a very very hectic phase for me uh, my gate cs exam was on 10th feb so okay. i pro- started properly test series uh, in january so january first half i gave test series of made easy and the go classes also so go classes test series was very difficult because in i remember in my first test i just couldn't secure 25 marks that's the qualification marks so i couldn't secure 25 even so i thought how will i qualify so okay. i just uh, that is, that, is, about, that might be one of yeah, the hardest yeah. phase you started self doubt yes yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that self doubt is a part of the journey hey before proceeding on to the next question a quick discussion with you yeah you did you know it took 25 to 30 hours to make this video i said minimum not average and i love it cuz i love to help you all but did you know sometimes i feel pain not because of the time i spend but when 77% of you are actually watching without subscribing that actually hurts a lot so subscribe so how did you overcome it before you were telling about how you done it so how did you handle that uh, self doubt of you know because at that time you might have lost hope okay, yeah, yeah. so it. okay so first one or two tests you will score less than 30 marks or even less than 20 marks so yeah. what i did was i went on youtube i started searching about test series and i came to know about a video uh, that video mentioned about the made easy test series so i went explored then i thought okay there are three levels here easy medium and hard So I tried with easy, then I could score uh, better marks, and I revised again better marks. Now coming back to his last forty-five day strategy, it was a very hectic schedule. So wh- my schedule was one day test, revision, analysis, test. Okay. Test, test. analysis, test, test, analysis, test. It test was like giving fifteen six. Yes, it was like fifteen sixteen test full length test. I'm talking about. And one thing I would like to mention is that I also solved all the PYQ test also. Like all the previous year gate papers as well. Uh, actually, one tip here is you should uh, give your test in the time slot your actual exam. Is there any instance you felt okay? So this is a smart move that I have done that helped me. Okay, so one smart move is gate exam is a written exam. You need to solve questions, right? So yeah. completing the syllabus won't give you marks. Yeah. So you need to practice questions. So yeah. what I did was I just practiced PYQ itself. I okay. never practice some um, uh, practice book questions or the lecture or practice questions. What the advantage I got is I got to know how questions are asked in the gate exam. And how many how yes. many years of previous year question is solved? Okay, so I got to know that IIS was setting the twenty four paper and IIS okay. had also set the two thousand sixteen paper. Uh, what I got to know is that every eight years some pattern changes. Okay, because in cool. 2012 13 or 9 10 the questions were very different and now in like 2020 onwards the questions are different so okay. mostly i solved after 2016 only okay fine now you mentioned yeah. rightly like the last 10 to 20 12 days in the last 10 to 12 days uh, what have you done because commonly there is an ideology is there like you shouldn't write your test in 7 days provided the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the explanation they give us like uh, you know if you try some exam In seven days, yeah. your confidence might go down. These kind of stuff are there. So yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. 
ఇంకొకటి When did you finally uh, decide my preparation is over? Oh, uh, preparation over, I think, last day. Last, last day. Just yeah. day before yeah. exam. Yeah. Day before exam, the preparation is done. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes. Now, I told you a lie in the beginning that you will be equipped with all the information required to crack gate exam in 6-1, but it's actually not. Let me tell you why. Now, recently, we won T20 World Cup and it's such a proud moment for all. To be honest, while I was watching this finals and when that big over from Akshar Patel and we have to defend 30 runs in 30 balls, I actually lost hope because of this class and it was like Thanos. And I'm convinced Rohit is very unlucky and not going to get any ICCA championship. But the way they kept the confident and fought and won, Ma'am, that's literally goosebumps. And after the game, I'm convinced at any point of the game or in life, one shouldn't lose any hope. There's a famous saying from one of my favorite basketball players, Clay Thompson. He said, no matter how many shots I miss, I always believe the next shot is going in. Hope is important throughout your preparation, so stay driven. Also, while hope is important, it is also important to develop systems scientifically to stay consistent and productive in your preparation. And in this process, like how many hours do you study per day? Once you're into gate preparation, it's a full day. So how consistent for 12 to 16 hours a day? Check out this video to find out how you can scientifically study 16 hours a day.